Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, um, my last video I showed the CZ75 P01, and um, I think I showed that I put these sights on. So, you guys see that I put the TFX Pros on there, okay, which are a nice addition to this gun, very nice addition. I installed them flawlessly this time, did not have any issues, no, didn't mark up the slide or do anything like I've done in the past with my other CZs. That little mark was there when I bought the gun. It's got a little, little, uh, little, I don't know, cut, I guess. It's not deep or anything, but uh, it's like a scratch. So that was not me. So um, I'm very happy how this came out because I love the finish on these guns. They're just, I love the how they look. They're very, it's like a deep black. The only thing is, is uh, they scratch easy, okay? So I'm happy that was I was successful there. But uh, anyway, so you know, for all the um, safety people out there, I have a snap cap on this. But the reason for this video is I do not like, and I, and I, in, I said in my video I was going to send this out to uh, Cajun Gunworks. Okay, I'm on the list. But I called the other day, and the guy was telling me, oh yeah, it's going to be like four to eight weeks, and I've already been on the like four weeks before I'm able to send this in. So I'm like, oh man, and then it's going to take another uh, eight to ten weeks to get it back or something like that. And I was like, I don't want to wait. I put the the pro package in my um, my PCR before, and I know I can do it in this one. It's easier. I've done it in the past, so I know I can do it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna order a kit. So here's the kit. Came from Cajun Gunworks within like two days time. It's uh, less expensive also. Um, but what I wanted to bring to your attention, just show you guys, for anyone that has shot the CZ uh, 75 P01 or any variant like that, some triggers are better, of course, but if you look at this, here's your uptake, right? Right here. Now, watch my finger. I'm going to do it slowly. There's a huge hitch before you get to the wall. Watch. You see that? Nothing's really happened. It's just like a, a hitch. And you got another one. See that? Again, you have another one. So I'm applying pressure to it. And then finally, you get that break. Watch. You get another hitch, then you get a break. See? Another hitch. Okay? And then finally, the sear will release the hammer watch. Here we go. Okay, so I'm kind of a trigger snob. After you know doing work on my 1911s, my Glocks, my CZs, I want a, the best trigger I can get. Plus, I don't like the the uh, hook trigger on these. I just don't like them. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change out the trigger. I'm gonna change out the hammer. I'm going to change out all the internals, put lighter springs, um, short reset. Um, I'm going to change out the the um, firing pin with a shorter firing pin for the, or actually longer firing pin for the short reset. So I'm going to put the whole complete pro package kit in this gun. And what comes in the pro package kit from CGW uh, is all this. So you have to get the tool. Okay, which is a starter punch with slave pin. Okay, it's got that. You need this for the decocker for sure. Um, here is the whole kit package for the pro package for the decockers. Okay, so it's got everything in there. I've got you know everything I mentioned: the hammer, the the trigger, all the springs. Everything's there. I always like to, because it's a complete bitch to do this, I always like to get a hammer strut, okay? Uh, so here's a compact hammer strut, and I'm going to install this new hammer strut onto the new hammer with the uh, short reset, uh, um, I don't know what you'd want to call it, the double action piece. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is all the parts, and I'm going to throw it in the gun, and then I will be back, okay? See you, hey guys. Welcome back to the channel. So I could not wait, and that is uh, pretty much uh, my normal fashion of things. I mean, I, I want to get something done. I want to do it right away. I don't want to wait. Um, I was on a waiting list for Cajun Gunworks to uh, to do the pro kit to install the pro kit on this, and I did one on. I installed one on my um, PCR. So I was like, ah, I don't want to do it again. It's just such a pain in the ass, and it really is. And we're gonna go into detail with that. Um, but, um, I just decided to do it myself. Okay. I was like, cause I called them and they were like, oh yeah, it's going to be, 
you know, another four weeks before we call you. Then it's going to be another eight to 10 weeks before we get it back to you. And I was like, ah, I'm not going to wait that long. I, I, I want to get to the range and start shooting this. So um, let me show you. I'm going to, so what I did was I just went online, picked, you know, ordered the pro kit, got it to me, had it installed within like an hour. Um, and now I'm done. Okay. So I haven't shot it yet with the pro kit, but I already know what to expect because in the same things in my PCR. Um, but, um, let's go over this. So this is the CZ 75 P01 and I have the slide back so you guys can see it's empty. So for anyone out there that's worried that I'm going to shoot myself and then record myself, I know it's a little nuts that you, you'd be thinking that, but anyway, it is cleared. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so let's, um, let's go over this. What I did is I put the Pro Kit in, okay? Pro Kit consists of the 85 combat trigger, you have the uh, race hammer, you've got lighter springs, it comes with a 13 pound uh, mainspring, um, you have a, a, the trigger pin, okay, which is the CGW trigger pin, so they don't break. I, I, from what I understand, it's never happened to me at best, but I guess the uh, trigger pins break, the, um, the firing pins, uh, uh, little holder in there that those break too. So this has been replaced with a CGW. The extended firing pin with spring has been installed. Everything the pro kit comes with has been, has been installed. Okay. So we have a short reset. We have, you know, there's an adjustable screw for the uptake. Um, it's, and I've got a, also I purchased a uh, guide rod, stainless steel guide rod for it. Um, and if you didn't see my other video, I put some TF, TFX pros on here. Okay, but um, let's get the trigger out of the way. So if, if you've shot a CZ, you know the triggers aren't that great. The ergonomics are amazing, but the triggers aren't that great. Um, I guess they're doable. You can break them in and, and, and work with it if you'd like. But what I hated the most is the hook on the trigger. I hate them. Uh, I, I don't even want to shoot. The, I can't stand it because after a while, I just get bad trigger bite. Okay, and then it's just, you know, you don't want to you don't want to shoot it anymore. So but this is very comfortable to shoot. So here is the double action. Um, there's my take up and you can adjust this, but there's my take up. Okay. It's about eight pounds, but it's very smooth, very smooth all the way back. No creep, no, no, not really a stack. It's just, it's pretty smooth. And before you had a lot of stacking, so pretty smooth. Now here's my, um, here's my reset. Okay. There's the reset. There's your, from the reset, there's your uptake there, and then your break. Very crisp, no creep, very crisp break. It's about three pounds. I measured it uh, with my gauge, and it was three pounds single action, and about eight pounds double action. So here is the single action again. Very nice and crisp. Here's the reset. There's the reset, okay? It's about as short as you're, you're gonna be able to get on one of these that has a, uh, a plunger for the uh, firing pin. Let's do it again. Okay, very nice. Now, let me, what I'll do is I will show you something on the inside so you guys can see, because it's important to point out that it really is. <clears throat> okay, what I did here, you have to take the uh, firing pin out, of course, replace that with extended firing pin with spring, and then you, of course, this plunger comes out. The plunger spring gets replaced as well. If you look at this, it's polished, and what I did was I tried to polish it as much as I could. I didn't want to take a lot of material off, but it's pretty slick, and that's going to really aid in your trigger pull, uh, you know, any grittiness you might have, anything like that, it's going to be a lot smoother. Okay. Um, so that's been done as well. Um, if you look in here in the frame, you, your trigger return spring is replaced. Of course your trigger, um, these aren't too hard to put on when you have this off, you want to try to polish everything on the sides, just make sure it's not real rough. And that's what I did. Um, <clears throat> this lifter arm gets replaced right here. That's for your, uh, your plunger. Okay. Um, these springs don't get replaced. You use the old ones, okay? But you do have to install, this all has to be removed to install that lifter arm, which you need for the short reset, 
Um, you know, it all has to work in harmony. You can't just replace a couple things and call it good. Not on one of these kits. You have to replace all of it. And then here's your hammer. The hammer's just made very well. All these parts are made work very well. CGW makes good parts. Um, but it's a very nice hammer. I like the look of it, the feel of it. I mean, it's, it's very nice, very crisp, clean break. I'll tell you this, that little spring right there, you can kind of see the top of it. It's a nightmare. Okay. I sheared the first one off. I always buy extra when I do these because I sheared the first one off. Okay. And when you install, when you have to hammer it back through that pin right there holds all of your components in the inside together, everything that's in the sear cage. So if you don't do it right, you're going to end up damaging. It's always this little lifter pin, lifter spring at the end that gets damaged. And of course I damaged it. Okay. So <clears throat> I had to order another one. Uh, well, I had a few here cause I, I've, I keep like, I have like three or four of them just in case. But, um, once I sheared that off, I had to install another one. Uh, the trick is, is to lubricate everything very well and to make sure you have a slave pin on the other side. You want to hold everything in place and then hammer it through. But if you have it lubricated properly, put like gun grease or something, it'll go in fairly easy. You don't have to even use a block. You can just kind of tap it in while you hold it. So that's how I did that. But that's the hardest thing about these. The manual safety versions of, of even this gun, which would be a still frame or some of the other models, the manual safeties are super easy to work on. I've done many of those kits and they're very easy. Okay. This one is probably the most difficult. When I called CGW, I talked to somebody over there. I was asking him some questions and um, I told him that I put one of these kits in. He goes, man, if you could do that, then that's you're a gunsmith because that's like one of the hardest kits to install. So, and yes, I did. I've done it twice already. Okay. Thinking about doing a third one possibly. We'll see. Okay. But um, I'm happy how it turned out. So let me put that back on. And with these, um, I will say with the TFX Pros, it's just an amazing gun, okay? I cannot wait to shoot it. The sight picture is amazing. I already shot it with these uh, sights with the old trigger system, and it shot pretty well. I have a video up on that. But uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll go shoot, and I'll throw up another video, tell you my thoughts, um, but yeah, that's it guys. And what I'm doing is I'm running the, uh, the Valkyrie two on here just due to the fact that it fits this gun so well. Um, I just love the way it fits. They had one of their cells. I was like, I'm going to pick one of those up. So boom, I bought it. Um, <clears throat> this is a great gun. I love the way the decocker works. I love how all this works easy to use. Ergonomics are amazing. Everything's in the right spot. You know, it really is with this trigger. Now it's just, it's just great. It's a, the perfect gun, perfect gun. So thanks for watching guys. Please like, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Goodbye.